Today we'll learn to jailbreak iOS 14.4. Why to jailbreak you might ask? Well, after following this guide, you will be able to get custom icons, install tweaks and do so many fun things to your iPhone. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. As from the title of the video you already know, we are going to jailbreak iOS 14.4 in this video. Anyone watching this video having an iOS device, I highly recommend to try jailbreaking at least once because it's super fun, it's super simple and you can always unjailbreak your iPhone. Also, if you end up liking this video, consider subscribing, it's free and you can always unsubscribe later. Anyways, enjoy the video. Alrighty, let me quickly show you this here is an iPhone 7 running on iOS 14.4. So if I go to preferences, you can see iPhone 7 iOS 14.4. Well that's out of the way, let's quickly go to the process where I'll show you how to jailbreak. First things first, jailbreaking is safe and legal. The next thing, open a browser of your choice and go to this media file link. It will be down in the description below. Click on the download button and the download for this RAR file will start straight away. I've already downloaded it so I won't do it again. The next thing, go to the other link, this is called Rufus. It helps you create bootable USB. But all you have to do for now is go down and you'll see a big download button which for some reason doesn't work. Click on Rufus 3.11 whatever and the download for Rufus software will start. Double tap to open Rufus software, click on yes to allow permissions and then minimize your browser. But for now, I don't think you need to learn anything about Rufus software as I'll explain it in later part of the video. Open File Explorer, locate the downloaded file and make sure it's the RAR file that we just downloaded from the media file link, not the Rufus software. Using a third party software such as WinRAR or 7-zip, extract that RAR file and once you do that, it will give you three files. Now make sure to delete those two smaller files uh, which are just text documents and the only file you have to keep should be a uh, disk image file and make sure to check that by going to the category tab. Now go back to Rufus software, click on the select button and locate the extracted file or the downloaded file and again make sure that it is a disk image file and then click on open. Now this will select that file and leave everything as it is. Pause the video, go grab a thumb drive, 4GB or more will be sufficient but I haven't personally tested it on a 2GB pen drive and plug that pen drive in your PC. Now at this stage Rufus will detect your pen drive. Do not click on anything and then click on start. Click on yes, ok, anything that pops up and the process will start. Now at this stage, there is one thing that you need to keep in mind that every single thing in your pen drive, your photos will be deleted. So make a backup on something like Google Drive or iCloud Drive. Now what we just did over here, we went to media file link, we downloaded that file, we extracted that file and it gave us an ISO file. We clicked on the select button and we selected that ISO file, we left everything as it was and we clicked on start. That was the process in simple words. But it's not yet done. We need to perform some other action so that we can jailbreak our device and boot into CheckRain. Now, once all of that is done, the next thing you need to do is completely shut down your PC. Just click on power and shut down and wait till your PC goes black. So the next thing you need to do is turn on your PC while rapidly pressing a key to enter in one time boot menu. So here I turn on my PC and all you have to do for now is spam a key to enter in one time boot menu. And on your laptop, you'll see somewhere it will say entering in one time boot menu. Now here's the catch. The question that you might ask is how do we know the key to enter in one time boot menu for our laptop? Well that's a great question. I'll link a full article with keys to enter in one time boot menu for all laptops down in the description below. Now use those arrow keys to go up and down and you have to find your pen drive. Now it might be under legacy boot or UFVI boot and this one time boot menu will be different for everyone because we don't have saved laptops, do we? Now you have to figure out things on your own but all you have to do is select your pen drive, use those arrow keys and click on enter to boot in your pen drive. Here you can see we are booting in our pen drive because we want to jailbreak, right? Now at this stage there will be stuff going on your screen all around. Uh, don't worry, 
nothing is going to happen to your PC. Now, here you go, jailbreak. That's the same iPhone 7 that we are going to jailbreak on iOS 14.4 with jailbreak on a Windows PC. I want you to bring a high quality lightning cable which Apple sadly removed from iPhone 12 boxes. Anyways, all you have to do for now is plug one end to your computer and make sure you do that for USB 2.0 port rather than USB 3.0. Plug the other end and connect it to your iPhone and hit on trust. I'll get to that in a second. But for some reason, if you don't know how to connect your iPhone to your PC, then you might as well click off this video. Uh, no, it was a joke. A bad joke. Your iPhone at this stage, after connecting it to your PC, will prompt you to trust it. Now at this stage, many people just don't do this step, but you have to follow steps carefully in an order to jailbreak your iPhone. There is a really important step coming up, so do not click off this video. Press enter to go to options and use those arrow keys to go up and put a small check mark on allow untested iOS versions. Now what this option will allow you to do is to jailbreak iOS 14.4 and there will be an option which will say skip A11 BPR check which I'm pointing at right now. Now only enable this option if you have iPhone 8, 8 plus or iPhone 10. It will disable all SEP related options on your iPhone. Do not do it if you have something like iPhone 7, 7 plus, 6s, iPhone SE. I have an iPhone 7 so I won't personally enable this option but if you have iPhone 8, 8 plus or 10 then only enable this. It might say iOS 14.4 is untested but I'm trying it so that means it's working. Enter your device in recovery mode to prevent file system corruption and at this stage you'll see this computer and this lightning cable on your phone with a black screen there's nothing wrong with it and there are things that you have to do on your own right now i clicked on start and everything check rain is telling me to do whether that's to hold the side button and the volume down button for 10 seconds and releasing the side button after 5 seconds or whatever in your case it might be something like holding the home button depending upon what iPhone you have. Just follow anything Checkrain says and our device is booting up. Now you can see this Checkrain icon over the Apple logo. This is the same iPhone 7 that I'm using and everything should go fine now. How do I know? Because I see this Apple logo with a Checkrain sign that means our device technically should jailbreak. Now on my screen it says all done and hopefully it's done because there are many times when you try to jailbreak and it's an unsuccessful jailbreak there might be some errors like 77 73 now on my home screen there is no check rate icon whatsoever but hypothetically it should appear soon so we'll have to wait for that and I will not fast forward this video because I need to show that it might take some time to appear and here you go. If I go to settings uh, before showing you the part how to install Cydia, let me just quickly turn on screen recording so that I can put it on a side so that you can see how everything is going on. Much much better now. Go to your screen where check when icon appears, open it and click on Cydia. Now you need an active internet connection to do this step. Click on install Cydia. Now it's gonna download base system. It's gonna download Cydia. It will install Cydia and it will do everything on its own. You just don't need to do anything. It quits check rain. We open Cydia and at this stage Cydia should work fine now and you can install as many tweaks as you want. Now I'll give a close up over here to show that it's an iPhone 7 running on iOS 14.4 that we just jailbroke with a Windows PC using CheckRain jailbreak. Everything should work fine now and it's gonna be much much better than it was earlier. Now at this stage I want you to go watch my video where I show 100 best Cydia tweaks. Yes my friends, click click peace out.